Hello everyone, welcome back to my next tutorial in AutoCAD. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to model this 2D drawing using AutoCAD. For that, first go to the AutoCAD software. Then you just go for new. Now we are in the new window. Then just open the drawing. This is our model. Now we can able to see uh, model and software uh, both simultaneously. <coughs> Before start modeling any component or drawing, first set the units. Type units. Our default unit is millimeter. Choose millimeter and record a decimal is single precision. Save OK. Then we need to specify the limits. Type limit center. First left corner is 0, 0, just enter it. And right corner we specify the length which is maximum, maximum to this one. I'm just taking as 200, 200. Just enter it, then Z enter, A enter. Now we have shifted the screen, then we can go for start modeling the component. First we will create this inner feature. Take a circle, just C enter. The inner circle radius they specified as 8. Just specify this one. Inner circle radius is 8, 8 enter. Then we just want to copy this circle to the distance of 20. First switch on this ortho mode. F8, press the F8 to switch on the ortho mode, then select the circle, then go for coffee and from here to here the distance is 20, just 20, enter, then escape, then we just want to copy this circle, just select the circle, then again go for copy. From this point to this distance is 30. Yes, okay. Now we have created these three circles. Then we'll just come simply connect the lines by using a quadrant. Take a line, just L, enter this quadrant point to this quadrant point. Right click and cancel. Then again go for the line. From here to here, we need to connect it. Right click and cancel. Then here we just want to make a tangent connection. For that, just go for line, enter, then type TAN, enter. Here you can, you can able to see the tangent, so just click it here. Here also you just specify TAN, enter. Now here also you can able to see the tangent. Right click, cancel. Now it is the line is touching the tangent of the two circles. Then you just remove the unwanted edges by using a trim tool, TR, enter, this one, this one, and this one. Then go for escape. Now we have created this inner feature. Then the external feature is offset of 12 mm. Just simply use the offset tool. Here you can see this one is the offset tool. Or here you type 0, O, O, you will get the offset, just O, enter, this line. It is asking to specify the distance, just 12, enter, then specify the object, object, this one and this side. Then again, this line and this side, this line and this side, and this line and this side, this line and this side. This much is enough, then go for a escape to exit from the command. Now we just want to create this circle. This circle has the diameter of 15, which is the center to center distance is 70. First create a line, just L enter. From this point to this point, the distance is 70, just 70 enter. Right click, cancel. Now we have created the reference line. Then we will create a circle, just C enter. Select this point. The circle radius, the specific diameter, so D enter. Diameter is 15. Then one more circle we just want to create, then again go for C, enter. Here this also they have given radius, so simply just go select it here. The radius is 20, just 20. Then simply we just want to extend this line, so just EX, extend. Select this line, you can able to extend this line to up to the object of next object. Then go for escape, 
then we just want to create a, a fillet with a radius of 30 for that what we can do just go for fillet simply just go for fillet what is asking is that we need to specify the radius just r enter the radius is 30 just 30 enter now select this one and second we select this one now we can able to create the uh, circle like this now just simply remove unwanted edges this reference name we don't want just select it and delete it this one we can able to delete by using a trim tool just tr enter just select this one then go for escape now we have created the complete sketch just simply select the sketch then go for the by layer increase the thickness to 0.35 go to escape now thickness line weight weight is not showing just click this one you can able to see the line weight then we need to specify the center mark just cm enter for this we need a center mark and this one and this one and for this one we need a center mark then go for escape just select all the center mark change the properties right click then go for property here here uh, right and left extension which increase into 3 3m and this length you increase into 10 then you just close it then go for escape now we have created the center marks then we will go for creating the dimension one by one first we will create a linear dimension just go for linear here you can see the center distance from here to here is 30 now it is showing very small one so we need to modify the dimensions for the dim sty that is dim style modify symbols and arrow make it 3 text also make it 3 primary units make it 0 say ok then close it now we have created the dimension to the model then we will create a dimension one by one just go for linear dimension from here to here the dimension is 70 then this linear dimension is 20 from this point to this point this one is 20 then we need to specify this linear dimension from here to here then go for escape here we can go for aligned this one to this one this one to this one is 12 actually now this one to offset when it is specified Here we can specify this one from here to here the distance is 12 offset then we can specify the radius just go here choose the radius one the first radius is this one which is r8 and second this second radius this radius is 20 similarly here also we need to specify same so need not to be specified Just specify this one is R8, this one is R20. Similarly, here just go here, this one is R20 and this one is R8, and this radius is 30. This also we need to specify this is also be R8. Now you can see all the dimensions are we have specified it and the same model we have recreated in AutoCAD. I hope you like this video. If you like this video please share to your friends. For more videos please subscribe my channel. In next tutorial we will come up with a new model. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you.